Hey everybody, um, as you can tell by the title of this video, I would like to talk about uh, what happened a few days ago over at Texas. It's on the news, it's on social media, my friends has been talking about this in college, my parents have been talking about it, everybody's been talking about this, and uh, I would like to share a few words and share my thoughts on, on, on a shooting that happened at, at the elementary school over at uh, Texas. Um, this 18 year old dude, or 18 year old kid, as professionally, um, went to the elementary school at Texas and shot, and shot some people and killed people with a gun. 19 students and two teachers died and shot. Some of the some of the students and staff members survived. Most of them didn't. And um, you you can't go to school anymore because there's too much evil in this world right now. God forbid I can't even go to college anymore because there something bad will something bad will happen. I'm afraid, God forbid, somebody might might kick, kick the door and shoot, like, aim the gun at, at, the, at us. But our teachers tell us to hide in the corner so they won't see us. And, um, yeah, just to hide at, at the dark corner so they won't see us and we don't say a word. How do I know? Because my teachers are are very... They're very good at the, about safety. But back to the to the Texas um, elementary school shooting. How much more that this world will take because of these monsters? My God, nineteen kids and two teachers shot, and families of these victims that that got shot were crying their eyes out because of this imbecilic scumbag that hides like a freaking rat running in the street that let loose that let loose every time when I think of articles and shootings like this it, it ticks me off because what who would who in their right mind would go in like in like in this elementary school or middle school or even high school or even college or anywhere you go that that's education it's not only at schools but at, at at restaurants at banks at movie theaters even at the grocery stores they're everywhere you can't even drive to work now because god forbid there'll be someone in the corner you know, like like in the like like holds like a machine gun at the cars and just shoots some people. Who allows this to happen? Who allows this? And not to be political and and because you know I hate getting political in my channel because I like talking about the things that I like. But why is the government? doesn't do anything about this it, it, it really frustrates me if I have kids if I am an adult and if one of my kids gets shot I would I would go go insane I would find that person that shot my future kid and I hope that person that that shot these kids will go straight to prison First of all, screw that 18 year old shooter and I hope he gets vanished by a disappearing gun. But in real life, I hope he goes to prison for like 30 to 35 years or even longer because what he just did to these poor kids and these poor teachers over at Texas. And not only that, by the, not, not only him, but also to the government, to the politicians and everyone else that is in the government, shame on you all. 
and screw everyone who thinks that this is a good idea to allow this in this country. You are unbelievably despicable and you're nothing but a bunch of jeeper creeper scumbags. My gosh, how, how long this world might take? On a side note, I hate some people. I I, I know I, I, I'm not an angry person, but there's always that 1% of people that, that really, I just wish it, I, I feel bad for them, but I don't like them at the same time. Because I've been hating some people since 2013. Sorry. I'm just getting sick and tired. I'm getting sick and tired of these jerks that um, that they fight people and being racist and think they could rule the world. Don't get me started. Don't get me. Don't go there, please. Don't let, don't get me go there. Don't let me go there. But um, I I want someone. That who is so smart just to to speak up for our people everyone else and everyone around the world to stop these shootings like right now I know there are I know I I have a few friends at soldier media that are in Texas and that are from Texas and I'm, I, I just want to check up to not check up on them uh, to check if they're okay or you know because I, I have a good heart I check I always check on people I, I also even check on my parents because I love them with all my heart and I, I don't know what to do without them I always check my mom and check my dad if they're okay they would say yeah son we're okay because you know because I have a good heart and I have to have to surround uh, the things you know, instead of watching videos on my phone, not all the time, I just had to, you know, had to stop text with my mom or my dad to check if they're okay. So, uh, that's about it for this rant. And, um, folks, just, just be careful out there. We live in a sick, crazy, dangerous world right now. And it's been like that since the beginning of time. But I know that God will take care of it. And I'm pretty sure everything will be alright. To the friend, to my friends out there. Uh, that's, that's from Texas. And who is watching this video. Hope you all are safe. And, and I hope you guys are safe. And um, we'll pray for your state. And to the people that lost the. And to the families over at Texas that lost their their students or that that the families out there that that are, are are still grieving for the loss of the students and the teachers that got shot will we'll pray for you and you know it's 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 hard it's it's this world isn't perfect but you know as, as long as we believe in Jesus Christ we gotta st stick together and God will take care of this world and but I'm pretty sure God will take care of everything in this world and to the 1% of the evil scumbags that think that this is a good idea and think that that's, that's okay something's wrong with you and this is not a joke at all and th th this is not this is not funny this is serious and these are the people, the 1% of people that are so darn, so bad that, uh, that, we, that we just wish that I want to slap them right in the face to get the facts into their heads. So, and, and that's that. That's uh, it for this rant. I just want to let it out of my chest to see what I think of it. What I know so far is I hope that 18 year old shooter goes straight to prison and gets arrested before that. And uh, like I said before, uh, to the tech, 
to the viewers and the, the subscribers at Texas out there, just be safe and just just be careful out there. So uh, that's about it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with your friends and family. I'm not going to do my sign signature smile because it's really sad news and it's these shootings need to stop.